Hi, I'm James Crowhurst from ICT Techie and in this video I'm going to show you how to update to iOS 8 using iTunes. The main reason for using iTunes is that the iOS update is very big. So if I go into settings on the iPad, you can see if I on my general and if I go to software update, you can see I've got the iOS 8 update available and it says under learn more that this update requires 6.9 gigabytes of storage. Obviously that is very large and anybody with a iPad with 16 gigabytes or even 32 gigabytes is unlikely to have enough space to do this update. So the way to get around that is to use iTunes. This can be done on either a PC or a Mac. Before connecting your iPad to iTunes, I suggest that you follow these steps to prevent your iPad from automatically syncing with iTunes. This can cause problems if you've got multiple um, iPads and music and videos stored on both the iPads. To do this you need to go to the little menu at the top up here, press preferences, go to devices at the top and tick prevent iPods, iPhones and iPads from syncing automatically. Press OK and that should sort it out for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug my iPad into the computer via the lightning adapter cable. You see when I plug it in the computer recognises that an iPad has been plugged in and it asks me if I trust this computer. This is because it's the first time I've plugged this iPad into this computer. If you've plugged in before, then you won't get this message. I'm going to press trust. Now I'm going to flick off my iPad and onto the computer so I can show you what to do in iTunes. So now I'm at my computer, I'm going to load iTunes by giving it a double click. When iTunes loads up, it will look for your iPad and automatically connect it. So here we go, it said welcome to my new iPad. This is because it's the first time I've plugged this iPad into this computer. Um, because I've plugged a different iPad in previously, I have got the restore option. Alternatively, I could set up as a new iPad, um, which is what I'm going to do now. And then press continue. So now you can see at the top, it says that it's syncing. And it goes through four steps to do a sync. Okay, so now it's finished syncing. I need to press get started before I can do anything. And now it displays the summary of the iPad. So it tells me which version I'm currently running. And it tells me there's an update available. Uh, but before I do the update, I'm going to do a full backup. So down here in the backups, I'm going to come over here and do a manual backup and restore. So I'm going to press backup now. Depending on um, what apps you've got on your iPad, you will probably get this message that appears. So press 
backup apps. You may also get asked to link your iTunes account with iTunes to authorize this computer. If you also get asked to transfer details across, um, follow the instructions to do that. A full backup can take a while, so I'm going to pause the video here and then come back when the backup is completed. Okay, so now the backup is finished and we are ready to commence with the update. To do this, all we need to do is press update in the middle, just here. And as you can see, you get a message asking about checking for the updates, etc. I'm going to press check. And it tells me that iOS 8 is ready. So I'm going to press update. Now it tells me about the new features on iOS 8. If you wish, you can read these on my blog. Now you press next. You get asked to agree to the new terms and conditions. So I'm going to press agree. And it starts to prepare your iPad. First of all, you have to enter the passcode if you've got one set up. So you have to go to your iPad, swipe to unlock it, and type in your passcode. I've just done that on mine now. And as you can see at the top, it tells me it's now doing the software update. So it's downloading. And you can see it's going to take about half an hour on my internet connection. Obviously, this number will change depending on your internet connection. As it is a large download, this can take up to a couple of hours on some internet connections. So I'm going to pause the video here and come back to it after the update is downloaded. After the software has been downloaded, it will automatically extract the software for you and start installing the update onto your iPad. So as you can see now, it's prepare, preparing the iPad for the software update. Don't worry if your iPad screen stays blank, that's normal. At this point, your iPad will get the white apple on it, and then it will go through the process of starting the update. Now you should find that the iPad has the white apple logo and a grey bar underneath. This grey bar will gradually move across the screen as the update is installed and verified. This can take a while, so once again I'll pause the video. After the update is completed, your iPad will get the new Getting Started screen. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the update, i.e. adding in your Apple ID again enabling location services, etc. And then you'll be through to your iPad, fully updated to iOS 8 with everything on it. Good luck.